J.C. Flowers sent it in the left hand. Two strikes, two outs. The bases are loaded, it's the bottom of the ninth, and it's the freshman that steps up to the plate and wins the game for the Knolls against Jacksonville. FSU center fielder J.C. Flowers is taking his first season as a Seminole by storm. A walk-off, I mean, it's every kid's dream as a baseball player to hit a walk-off. And, I mean, going up to bat, I wasn't, my main goal was to put the ball in play and give my team a chance to win and I just happened to hit a single. Just to be in that dog pile and seeing all my teammates come running after me is a great experience. But just months ago, Florida State might not have had the opportunity to have this talented player on the team's roster. You know, he had signed at Kentucky. You know, they had a coaching change up there, and once that happened, he was granted a release, and uh, we had lost a kid in the draft, and he was a perfect placement. He had about 48 hours to make a decision and then get all, move all of his stuff over here two days later. When former FSU center fielder Ben Deluzio signed a major league deal after last season, J.C. stepped up to the plate and knew he had some big shoes to fill. It was an easy decision. Uh, Florida State's always been a dream school of mine. And just to join the rich tradition here and actually want to be part of it, it's, it was an easy decision. And having flowers in the spring has been a home run for the team as well, bringing not only his passion for the sport, but a shining personality his teammates love. He's a guy with a lot of energy. Um, he's never going to hang his head. He always has a smile on his face, and, and that carries into how he is as a teammate, always you know, being there for people and picking people up. Get down on him. Well, he's a very good teammate. You can tell that he genuinely cares about the well-being and performance of teammates. He wants to win. He's a tried and true winner everywhere he's been. He's always won. And, you know, we're really excited for him to be a part of the program. If Flowers had remained in the bluegrass state of Kentucky this season, the state of Florida State baseball wouldn't be the same. Well, there'd be a lot of difference. The team would be totally different. We have a void out in center field. And, you know, you need a guy that can cover a lot of ground like he can. Uh, he has a very good arm. He'll shut down people trying to go from first to third and second to home. And, um, you know, that fearlessness that he has out there, it would be a huge void. He brings a lot to this team. He can hit, he can play defense, and really he is a, a great teammate. And you put all this together, he's, he's just an awesome ball player. It's always good to have people like him with the attitude that he has. The more people like that you can have on a team, the better it is. As a freshman, J.C.'s college baseball career has just begun, but he's already blossomed, displaying the kind of promise needed to take the Seminoles to the top. You know, I think the sky's the limit for him. The tradition here is amazing, and obviously you don't want to come in here and disrespect the tradition, and the way J.C. plays the game is, is how you're supposed to play baseball for Florida State. While FSU may have been J.C.'s second swing at college baseball, playing center field in Tallahassee, he now feels right at home. I love being here at Florida State. It's been a childhood dream. And just my teammates, the coaches, they, they're just like a second family to me, so I wouldn't choose any other place. And given the chance again, FSU would pick flowers every time. I'm Lindsey Goodwin for Seminole Sports Magazine.